what's going on with you? Ryan Fitness Informant.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel and our website. I'm the president of Fitness Informant. Today you're stopping by to check out our no BS full in-depth review of Pitbull Labs pre-workout. Pitbull Labs is a newer brand in which actually is kind of unique in, that in terms of every sale that they make, they donate a, donate a portion of their proceeds to charities which are in turn rehoming rescued pit bulls. It's kind of a cool cause, especially if you're a pet fan like myself, and especially if you're a pity fan like a lot of people on the planet are. But Pitbull Labs is known for high quality products, high quality ingredients, and Pitbull Pre is no different. Today we're going to talk to you guys about its ingredients profile what is in this pre-workout that makes it effective and what kind of quality ingredients are being used at what dosages then we're going to talk about the effectiveness basically this is an extension of the overall ingredient profile the more high quality ingredients being used uh, the more effective this product is going to be then we're going to talk about taste and in this term taste uh, we had cherry limey we're going to talk about mixability, how well this mixes in 10 to 12 ounces of water. And then finally, we're going to talk about value, which is technically the price as it relates to va or as it relates to profile, excuse me, effectiveness, taste, and mixability, as well as how it compares to competitors on the market. So let's first jump into the profile here. This is a very good pre-workout powder in which it looks at focus, strength, and energy. One area that's missing, and we talk about this at fitnessinformer.com on the full review, is the pump area. There's not really a single pump product or pumping green in this product. They are coming out with a pump product themselves, which is going to help kind of partner those two together. But if you like to get receive pump ingredients in your pre-workout, you're not going to get it with this one. But what you are going to get first is you're going to get sort of a, you're going to get a strength matrix. You're going to get 2.5 grams of betaine. You're going to get 2.4 grams of beta alanine and 2 grams of taurine. So betaine and hydros, 2.5 grams, that's clinically dosed. That actually helps with strength output. Beta alanine at 2.4 grams, just shy of the 3.2 clinical dosage on beta alanine. Beta alanine helps with muscle endurance, also the tingly feeling that you get from pre-workouts. And taurine at 2 grams is going to help with muscle endurance and muscle strength. Taurine is dosed very nice in this. Typical pre-workouts coming around with gram, you're getting 2 grams of taurine per serving. Then you're going to jump into the focus blend on this. You're going to get um, L-tyrosine at 1.5 grams. Typically this is 500 to 1,000 milligrams. You're getting 1.5 grams which is 1,500 milligrams. This is dosed higher than your typical pre-workouts in terms of focus. Then you're getting DMAE which at 850 milligrams. Again, on the high side of the cognitive enhancing ingredient DMAE. Typically, you see DMAE around 200, maybe 300. You're at 850 in this product. So this is actually my favorite part of the product is the focus part of this product is that you are laser focused, like it says on the outside of the product. You're zoned in, you're ready to lift when you're at the gym, ready to go. Then we get into the energy complex on this. Fully transparent label, but it starts with tasteless, Theocrine. Now, theocrine is, can be known as, as tasting really gross, so keep that in mind when we talk about the taste profile. I'll come up here in a second. But you get 315 milligrams of theocrine. Theocrine is a modified version of caffeine, which studies have shown you can't build a tolerance to. So, like caffeine and hydros, or your regular caffeine, you can build a tolerance to it. So, eventually, you're going from 200 to 300 to 400. And now, companies are coming out with pre workouts with 600 milligrams of caffeine. Why? Because we're building a tolerance to the caffeine and we're not letting ourselves clear our system of stims. So it's nice to see things like theocrine used at 315 milligrams because it helps avoid the tolerance build. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to get the dicaffeine malate at 155 milligrams. Dicaffeine malate is going to be more of the euphoric energy. It's not the big bang rush energy at the beginning of a pre-workout. It actually is sustained energy throughout the workout. Also very minimal crash with this, especially with theocrine as well. Then you're going to go ahead and get 135 milligrams of your caffeine A. Caffeine A, most popular caffeine source used in pre-workout is the one that's going to give you the rush. It's also the one that's going to give you the crash. But with dicaffeine, malate, and theocrine in this, you're not going to get the crash. You're going to get a nice, euphoric, steady state energy throughout your entire lift without the crash. Uh, and then you have two other ingredients in this. Uh, Hygienemine, I can't even pronounce the word, excuse me for that, but anyway, 50 milligrams of hydronemine, which is actually very similar to ephedrine. It's a, it's a fat burning ingredient used in a lot of pre-workouts. It's going to increase your body temp, help you sweat some more. Uh, and then there's an ingredient at one milligram, which is going to help with sort of dilate your blood vessels a little bit. Not really a pump enhancing ingredient, but it's in this to help get this into your system. So overall, in terms of focus, strength, and energy, it's a great profile. My only knock on this, it's missing a pump profile, a pump part of this uh, in the, in the pre-workout. And a lot of people now are coming up with pre-workouts of an all-in-one pre-workout, which includes pump, focus, strength, and energy. 
we're missing the pump portion on this. But again, you can purchase their pump product if you're a big fan of this. In terms of effectiveness, I kind of hit on this. Focus, focus wise, phenomenal. Energy wise, euphoric, no crash. Strength wise, very typical of the pre-workout. So in terms of those three sections, it's very effective pre-workout. If you don't care about pump, then this pre-workout you're gonna love. In terms of taste, Cherry Limey, um, they are known for good taste, Pitbull Labs. We've actually reviewed a BCAA Stim product from them that uses Cherry Cola, it's phenomenal. And I talked about Theocrine before, the tasteless Theocrine. Typically that can taste like garbage, like very bad. They do a phenomenal job of masking the taste um, without having to put a bunch of other crap in this. So the taste on Cherry Limeade is very good. You're gonna like it, it's unique. It's not your typical blue raspberry, fruit punch, lemon lime that you see. It's Cherry Limeade, a very different take on a, a taste profile that I very much enjoy. In terms of mixability, I did go ahead and mix up one serving of this already for you so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. It is 11.2 grams. So a little bit on the lighter side in terms of serving size, unlike you know some of the ones that are 20 plus grams now, but here's what it looks like. Uh, you can see very minimal color because there's no artificial colors used in this. Um, you can see some floaties in there. Might be kind of tough to see here on camera. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can. Um, there are some floaties, but nothing too crazy in this. Um, like your typical pre-workouts, you give it you know six to eight shakes, and you drink it, and then you go to the gym. So mixability could be better, could be a lot worse. Um, I've had a lot worse in my day. In terms of value, it's 25 servings for this product, right around 40 bucks. Um, value on this product to me could be a little bit better, only because we're missing the pump complex or pump ingredients on this. So. You take some other brands out there at 20, 25 servings, which are sort of an all-in-one pre-workout, good caffeine build, good L-citrulline, bit alanine, betaine, all the ingredients you need to kind of hit on focus, strength, power output, and pump, and those retail for around $40 as well. But one thing that this product has in terms of benefit over a lot of other products is a taste profile. They do have flavors that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So you might pay a premium for that. And in terms of the actual components that are in this, strength, energy, and focus, you're not gonna find a better pre-workout in those three categories. You might find a pre-workout in which those categories are very similar, that includes a pump, but you're not gonna find them that, that are better per se than this pre-workout. So overall, a great product. I wish there was included pump in the actual pre-workout, but they are coming out with a pump product like we said, so we're excited to try that. If you wanna purchase this product, we have a purchase link here below in the YouTube video and on our website, obviously. Check for any discount codes we might have to save you a few dollars. That'll help with the value of this product. Follow us on all our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe now box here below. That ensures you're updated with all brand new reviews that we release here to YouTube and the fitnessinformer.com. To read this full in-depth review on top of this video and to check out all other Pitbull Lab reviews and more, visit our official website. We're online at fitnessinformant.com.